Building Blocks of the Future is brought to you by Sylvan Learning Center. Welcome back to Wake Up Northwest. It is time for Building Blocks of the Future. Today's a big day for kids ages 5 to 11. Parents are waking up with a decision on whether to vaccinate their kids against COVID-19. The CDC director just signed off on Pfizer's lower dose vaccine for children overnight. But is that vaccine immediately available for kids right here in our area? We have Dr. Amy Person, health officer for the Benton Franklin Health District on the phone right now with some answers on that. Good morning, Dr. Person. Good morning, Adeline. Well, before the shots can start going out to kids across our region, I understand the Western States Scientific Safety Review Group has to first study the data. And that work group met last night, but I checked their website and you mentioned that they have not yet released those results. So what happens next, Dr. Person, in terms of the child vaccine? That's a great question. Uh, and we are uh, awaiting the review from the Western States PAC. I anticipate they will uh, move forward with the approval as they've been pretty consistent with that. So uh, we should hear those uh, results later this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, vaccine has been shipped out um, to providers in our area. Uh, what I recommend is that uh, parents check with um, the clinics or the facilities where they normally get their kids shots to see if those clinics are ready. There's a lot of other little steps um, that need to be done to make sure vaccines are given uh, correctly and that they're able to be uh, entered into the registry appropriately. Right, but and with those shots getting, or with those uh, vaccines getting shipped out, I mean, do you anticipate, Dr. Person, that shots could start uh, going out today if uh, the work group does give that approval? It is definitely a potential uh, if uh, clinics or pharmacies are ready, uh, but, you know, to be on the safe side, parents should uh, call ahead call ahead. So what type of places should they be calling? Because we know that the vaccine sites are, are shut down now, that they're more available at pharmacies and such. So what types of places might kids get the vaccine? The best place for parents to check first is if they have a regular doctor for their kids, check with that doctor because uh, most of the providers who give shots, regular childhood shots, uh, will be able to give the COVID shots. Pharmacies are another place. Um, some of the community pop-up clinics that have been going on throughout this pandemic are also planning to do pediatric vaccines. So another good resource is the Vaccine Finder webpage or Benton Franklin Health District's okay. uh, webpage is putting those down as well. All right, sounds great. Thank you so much, Dr. Person. We'll be on the lookout for the results coming in from the Safety Review Work Group. And just so you know, if you do choose to vaccinate your kids against COVID-19, they will still be getting two doses each three weeks apart, but they are one third the amount of the dose that is given to adults and teens.